Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm fixing to bounce out of town for a few days and I just wanted to drop a little spread for y'all because it is a glorious full moon and a very important full moon. And I just really want to throw some cards before I bounce out for a week. So, here you go, Taurus. Here you go. Let's see what they have to say. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing well. Cannot complain. Fixing to go on a four-day horseback riding expedition, so I'm excited about that. Me and my hot little redhead of a pony are going to go meet up with some friends and ride some national forest for four days. So I'm excited about that. All right, you guys. Well, let's see what these cards have to say. I don't want any beef about what about the reversals and don't you think you have the deck upside down because y'all just saw me shuffle these cards. Okay. All right. Give me a second to channel and we'll get the messages that uh, need We'll get the messages. All right. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Spirit and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the specific Taurus that we are channeling here today? And what is it that they need to know about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. What is it? that Taurus needs to know right there and understand. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the tower. Holy schmoly. Ooh, but the Ace of Wands follows it. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. First card out is, make sure I get these right for you from the get-go right here. Let's see, how can y'all see that best? I can probably do it on an angle like that, I suppose. Okay, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, sense of well-being, disruption in the sense of well-being. The Fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey. The Prince of Wands in reverse, frustrations, delays. The Three of Swords, some kind of grief, sorrow, or pain in your mind. To the star, path, purpose, renewal, five of wands, conflict, the princess of cups, emotional creation, the eight of wands, movement, action, change, the ten of cups, peace, happiness, fulfillment, seven of wands in reverse, overwhelmed maybe, the lovers to the six of cups, okay, uh, temperance, being tempered, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Wands, the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Swords in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Two of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Wands, and the World. Fan. Fantastic. Well, there's obviously some kind of something, something going on here that's going to cause someone out there a little bit of grief for a minute. But it all turns out well 
So let's see what this is about, yeah? Yeah? I'll look the world to the fool. Fantastic. The Four of Pentacles to the Seven of Swords in reverse. Awesome. The Prince of Wands in reverse. What's this frustration about? What is the frustration about? Oh, I think it's the worry of the Three of Swords. I see. Yeah, Two of Pentacles, right? Straighten this out. Wheel of Fortune in reverse to the Ace of Swords in reverse. Fantastic. The Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Fool in reverse. All right, I see. I see. Remember, I'm going to go back and read all this to you, so just, just bear with me. Five of Wands. What's the root of this conflict right here? What is the root of this conflict? What is the root of the conflict? The Six of Swords, leaving some, some kind of mentality behind, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, I see. Princess of Cups, yeah. Couple of things you need to know about me before we dive in here. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I'm probably going to swear and I will smoke my vape on camera and use my vape as a pointer. So if any of that bothers you, um, this neighborhood's too rough for you. You need to go on down the road to rainbows and unicorns. Okay. All right. Let's get into this mix. So four of pentacles in reverse. First card out sets the tone for everything. The Four of Pentacles in reverse is about greed, materialism, um, self-protection. Okay? So greed, materialism, self-protection. Okay? The Seven of Swords in reverse talks about breaking free from a futile mentality. A futile mentality of can't get ahead, getting screwed over. Okay? So you open up this reading with an upset in your sense of well-being, possibly a lack mentality, okay? A lack mentality. The Seven of Swords in reverse says you must break free from a lack mentality because when you have a lack mentality, guess what you're, you're manifesting into your life? Lack, right? It's all about the mind. See, the Magician is the first card of the major arcana. It is the first life lesson. It's the first of everything. If you can learn to control your mind, you will be able to manifest the reality that you want. It's true. It's very true. See, he has all four elements right there. And the first element that triggers any kind of anything in your life is your thought process. Nothing happens in your life unless you think about it, right? Where your mind goes, your reality becomes, okay? Your mind gets invested, then your motivations kind of get vested a little bit, right? Then your emotions come into play, and then your sense of well-being is the blanket, and before you know it, you've created something in your life. You can create a shit show in your life just as easy as you can create magnificent things in your life. It's just that easy. If you can create a shit show without even thinking about it, imagine what you could create in your life if you put some effort into controlling your thoughts, okay? And I say all of that because your thought life, as we open this reading, is in a lack mentality. It's in a place of despair, Okay, self-protection mode. The Seven of Swords in reverse says you must release this futile mindset to the fool. So you can be guided and shown the direction that you need to go. You start out with the first card. I mean, the Magician is one, right? See the little one at the top? The Fool is a zero because it can go in and out of everything. Every time you successfully complete some kind of learning procedure in your life, boom, the Fool shows up. And the universe is like, yes, yes, yes. Now let's level it up. Now let's, now let's start again. Okay. So the fool says there's a brand new beginning, a brand new journey. Uh, you about to turn the corner, Taurus, to the world card. Okay. This is the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. The world is the last card of the major arcana. This card says that you have learned at some point, some way, somehow, Everything that you need to know about this particular cycle of your life, 
Okay? So, this lack mentality, low, low vibrational manifestation state that you're in, the fool says it's time to level up. It's time to put your eyes on the prize and push forward to the world card and change the cycle that you're in. Close out the old cycle of the lack mentality and step into a new cycle of abundance. Okay? All right. The Prince of Wands in reverse, all frustrated. The Three of Swords carrying around grief and sorrow and pain in your mind. All frustrated, grief, sorrow, pain in your mind. Guess what you're manifesting? Grief, sorrow, and pain. Mm -hmm. The Two of Pentacles says, pay attention to this. It's time to balance this out. We have to, we have to get some equilibrium in your sense of well-being. The wheel in reverse, because we cannot show you the way to go if your free will is vested in grief, sorrow, pain, and a lack mentality. We cannot, and they cannot intervene in your, I'm a channeler, right? They cannot intervene in your free will. And your free will right now is creating chaos in your life. The Ace of Swords, get your mind in the game. What you think about comes about, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, what you think about comes about. And it's really that important. And it's really that simple. What you think about comes about. Get your mind in the game. See crystal clear the Ace of Pentacles and manifest a peaceful sense of well-being so spirit can divinely orchestrate the steps of your path and lead you to a place of well-being. The Hierophant in reverse, you got to reevaluate some kind of belief system or cut some kind of ties or commitments to a person, place, or thing. The Hierophant in reverse is about taking inventory of what's important to you because the old belief system of the Hierophant in the upright is no longer serving your purpose, Okay. So you hooked on some kind of a belief system. Perhaps you were raised with a lack mentality. Perhaps you don't think anything will ever get any better. The foundation stones of what you believe about this particular aspect of your life is paramount to the fool in the world. You must change the lack mentality you must get out of a futile mentality because your frustrations and delays are directly associated with the three of swords, the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you hold in your mind. You must reevaluate things, the fool in reverse, because it's foolishness to live otherwise. It's just a, a rudimentary human understanding lack mentality. It is. It's a rudimentary human understanding that needs your attention because with the fool in reverse, you're not going to be able to hop into the, the fool in the upright and bring an end to a longstanding cycle in your life. You must reevaluate something that you believe in because it's foolishness. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, a new mindset is going to bring you a new beginning. The wheel in reverse, we cannot show you the way if you think you know the way. To the Two of Pentacles, prioritize this to prioritize your sense of well-being. The Star, hope, having hope in your faith. That there is purpose to everything. The star is everything that you believe in. Trying to show you the soul path. Because that's really all that matters. All of this material bullshit that this whole everything is all uh, consumed by. It's bullshit. When people pass on and uh, when people come to me uh, in readings after they have transitioned over, the first thing they want their loved ones to know is how short this is. It's so short. A hundred years, if you're lucky, is um, 
a blink of an eye in the grand scheme of things. The star, your path, your purpose, your path, your purpose, right? Life doesn't have to be as hard as we make it. The Four of Pentacles says y your path, your purpose is very much tied up in your sense of well-being. Your path and your purpose cannot be revealed to you if you keep yourself in a mindset of worry and fear to the eight of pentacles work on what we are we are telling you to work on work on this value system this belief system work on what it is that you are trying to accomplish in your life but shooting yourself in the foot because you keep manifesting otherwise your path and your purpose is stability, safety, and security. Life does not have to be as hard as we make it. We make it difficult. We do. We have all of the tools and the resources to live a happy, peaceful, productive life. But all of the humanness steers you in the wrong direction. It steers you away from your spirituality and not towards your spirituality. The Eight of Pentacles talks about working, engaging, building, compounding the lessons of your past in the world card and moving forward. Look, I cannot make this up. The Eight of Wands. Movement, action, and change is needed from you so Source can show you the way to go. Wow. All right. So, five of wands. Conflict. Internal conflict. External conflict. Conflict all over the place. Six of swords says you need to leave this bullshit behind you. Six of swords is about leaving behind mental baggage. Getting a new perspective and moving forward. Queen of Pentacles. Because the upset in the home, the upset in the finances, the upset in the family, that is exasperated by you feeding it in your mind okay the princess of cups to the nine of cups princess of cups is about emotional creation it's about emotional growth to the nine of cups it's right beneath the world card right and the fool right? This brand new beginning, this brand new journey, this quantum leap in your life that is right in front of you, Taurus, right in front of you, depends upon your emotional maturity to understand that your thought life creates your reality. When you understand this, you grow in an emotional capacity, Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. You can have this. You can have this, but you have to manifest it. You have to create it inside of you. To the devil in reverse, how you do that? You release limiting beliefs. What are the limiting beliefs? This Hierophant in reverse. Maybe holding on to a job that has long time ago been over for you. Holding on to a belief system. Holding on to a marriage. Holding on to um, anything that its time has been served in your life. And it's time to let it go. Fool in reverse. Because it's foolishness to hold on to it. The devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. The devil in the upright is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. Toxic to your life. The devil in reverse is releasing those limiting beliefs. What are the limiting beliefs? Lack mentality. What are the limiting beliefs? I'm getting screwed over all over the place. What are the limiting beliefs? I need to hold on to something with a white knuckle grip because, damn it, that's just what this family does. It's all... The, it's all the root of why you can't get to where it is you need to go in life. Release your limiting beliefs. Detach from a toxic strain. Devil in the upright is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. Detaching from that, seeing everything crystal clear, getting your mind straight and manifesting the kind of reality that you want in your life, Creates a little bit, uh, needs a little bit of effort from you, Taurus. 
Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of success. Why are you experiencing a lack of success in your life? Well, because you're not overcoming the battle. What's the battle? Coming to terms with this belief system, releasing limiting beliefs, leaving a negative low vibrational mindset in the past. Justice. This is accountability for your journey. This is accountability for your soul path. This is honesty, truth, and fairness in your life. This, this emotional growth and setting your sights on what it is that you want in your life is accountability for your journey. Because whoever this is for right now, you're just like willy-nilly, oh, poor me in it. Three of Wands in reverse, and that's obstacles to your long-term goals. Mm -hmm. It's a lack of foresight. It's a lack of faith. Eight of Wands in the center of your reading. Movement, action, change, quick change. Movement, action, and change. Look at that. Puts you in the position of the Queen of Pentacles. Over here, you're the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, right? Upset in the home, the finances, the family. If you will change what it is you're manifesting in your life, you will be in the upright. You will have security in your finances, security in your sense of well-being, security in your home to the star again, second time. We're trying to show you the path and the purpose for your life. We are trying. We want so bad two of wands. We want so bad for you to see the beautiful future that's out on that horizon. We want you to manifest it because we cannot force it upon you. If you don't desire it, we cannot deliver it. Because what you are telling the universe you want right now is grief and sorrow and pain. Ten of Cups. That's what your future holds right there. The Ten of Cups. Emotional peace. Emotional fulfillment. Happiness. The hangman. Yep. Cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective. Because you've been doing something the wrong way for too long now, Taurus. Seven of Wands in reverse. Feeling overwhelmed. Seven of Wands in the upright is about a challenge. All right. Let's not say feeling overwhelmed. Let's say challenge accepted. Challenge accepted to the Queen of Wands. She's here twice. This Queen of Wands represents... It's fire energy, okay? And fire energy is responsible for the motivations, the inspirations, the desires that we have, okay? She's in the upright, which tells me that if you will accept the challenge of reevaluating some kind of belief system that isn't working for you anymore, that you will be able to draw in, accomplish, your pursuit of achievement and success. Anything I need to know about this Queen of Wands? Anything at all? Anything? Ah, the Fool. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot make this shit up. The Fool. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. But you got to want it, Taurus. you got to want it. you got to get your mind vested in the situation. Begin thinking about what it is that your life is will be instead of ruminating on what it is right now because whomever it is I'm talking to they are in some kind of a crisis situation they are their sense of well-being is deeply disturbed and because their sense of well-being is deeply disturbed all that they're dwelling on is this three of swords energy grief pain sorrow in the mind, in the mind, in the mind. Grief, pain, sorrow. In the mind, in the mind, in the mind. Change the way that you think. Create and manifest your reality. The Queen of Wands. Put some gumption in it. Put some motivation in it. To the fool. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. Quantum leap. A leveling up in your spirituality. Two of Cups. Fantastic. See, I kind of thought that a while ago. This Queen of Wands not only represents your motivation, okay? But I think this Queen of Wands is someone that you are going to come into contact with that offers you a job, 
offers you a place to live, offers you some kind of satisfying. This Queen of Wands is the root of an opportunity that is coming towards you. Mm -hmm. This Queen of Wands is the result of your manifestation. It is. The Fool, this Queen of Wands, is responsible for this brand new beginning, for this cycle closure in your life. Your desire to change the track of your life manifests this Queen of Wands into your life. This Queen of Wands offers you this new beginning in this new journey to the Two of Cups. And it is a significant relationship. Doesn't have to be love. It can be employer, employee. It can be anything, okay? To the Four of Swords. Contemplate, reevaluate, and come to terms with, guess what this guy's coming to terms with? The Three of Swords. He's coming to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that he's been carrying in his mind. He reaches down. He picks up the fourth sword. He brings stability to his mindset. And boom, guess what happens? Well, there's an offer that comes in. The pursuit of achievement and success is presented to you. The fool, a brand new opportunity is presented to you in some kind of a significant relationship because you have done everything that I've been harping on you to do since we started this reading. Okay. If you do that, this will come. Okay. The lovers significant choices, significant choices, significant relationship, temperance in reverse and imbalance, and the three of swords. Again, more grief, sorrow, and pain. To the six of cups, family, home, nostalgia, memories, warm, fuzzy walls, what's familiar to you, to the Page of Swords, some kind of communication. To the Three of Cups to set up some kind of a meeting. What's this say? Well, the lovers, okay? Significant choices in your relationship. Temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse tells me that you don't trust yourself. Uh, you don't, you don't trust yourself. Um, you don't trust yourself because your mind is way out of control. How can you even feel your intuition when your mind is running the show? Mm -hmm. If your mind is running the show, it, 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 it dampers, tampons, tampons, is that a word? Tamps? It, it dampens. It kills your intuition. Okay. Temperance in reverse, all off balance, not trusting yourself. Three of swords. And again, ruminating about grief and sorrow and pain. Well, guess what happens? The six of cups. Your environment changes drastically with this opportunity. The six of cups obviously talks about the past. The Six of Cups is memories, nostalgia. Sometimes it's soulmate energy. And I'm here to tell you, soulmate is not always romantic at all. Everybody always thinks soulmate is romantic. It's, it's not. It's not. It's so silly. Stop watching stupid YouTube videos that fill your mind with all kinds of insanity. It's not. Soulmates are part of our tribe that come through over and over and over again to help somehow, some way to help. They don't always stay. Six of Cups, the past, to the Page of Swords, some kind of message, to the Three of Cups, some kind of meeting, joy, celebration, temperance that makes everything all better. This Six of Cups is associated with this Queen of Wands right here. This Six of Cups can mean that there is a message that comes to you from someone in your past. It can also mean that it is something that you're comfortable with, perhaps a skill set. Perhaps you're in between jobs right now. Maybe you just got fired from your job or laid off or, or lost your job somehow, some way. Um. And you're wondering, you're freaking out, wondering what it is that you're going to do. And then you get a message from 
a company that is in your wheelhouse. It fits your skill set. It's comfortable. The Six of Cups is comfortable. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is great. This is awesome. I can go right back into doing what it was that I used to be doing for someone else. Or it is um, an old company, right, that, that, that calls you back and says, hey, man, we're exploding all over the place. Can you come do some contract work for us? Um, it is something that is comfortable to you. This message that's coming brings comfort to you, to the Three of Cups. It is a meeting. It is joy. It is celebration. It is meeting with this situation that brings you into a great deal of peace with temperance. Okay. Great deal of peace. Six of Pentacles in reverse, not giving, receiving, or sharing in the prosperity of life, greed, materialism, debt. The Eight of Cups in reverse, emotionally just, just devastated to the ace of cups in reverse hurt feelings broken feelings king of cups comes on top of this and says you will transition from this state of hopelessness into a state of being solid steady and stable in your emotions anything that can be said about this king of cups right here this opportunity is going to change everything for you. Look, the two of wands, it balances the whole situation out. Brings you a little bit of money, brings you some peace. But see, you got to do it in your mind, Taurus. It can't be delivered to you against your free will. And if your free will is manifesting bullshit, you ain't never going to get it. Change your thoughts, change your life. Eight of Swords, change your thoughts, change your life, right? Where are we at? Okay. Eight of Swords, all wrapped up in your head in fear. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, maybe you lost your job. Something ain't working out though. The Hermit says, do some soul searching and some introspection, some deep soul searching and introspection about everything that I just said right here, about what you are creating in your life versus what your life should be. The Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups talks about emotional growth. It talks about new love as well, but I really don't see this as a love reading. I really don't. I see this more of a, of a life reading, okay? Ace of Cups is about emotional growth. What are you going to talk about in the Hermit Energy when you have a sit down with your higher power and you be honest and fair and out loud give up what it is you're manifesting and be open to what it is they want to bring into your life. This is emotional growth. The Ace of Cups is a great deal of, of well-being. It's a new turnover in your sense of well-being. Four of Wands in reverse to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse because right now your well-being isn't all that well. <laughs> the Queen of Wands, again, your desire for achievement and success. Your motivation inside of you to change what it is that you are creating in your life. Ten of Swords in reverse. It brings you renewal and regeneration. It, 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 it cures the worry and the pain in the mind. Knight of Pentacles in reverse that you've been stuck in for a long time. Why? Knight of Swords in reverse. Because you ain't doing it right, Taurus. Knight of Swords in reverse is someone that is out of control of their thought processes. And you are thinking all of this scary stuff. And when you are consumed by all of this scary stuff, guess what your life becomes? Scary stuff. They want you to get your desires and your motivations on point so they can usher into you a beautiful life, an easier life. Life does not have to be so freaking hard. Everybody, not everybody, that's an over, over generalization. A lot of people think that us humans are just in this earth and it's about struggling and and clawing and it's 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 this big huge gigantic dark grim battle and it doesn't have to be that way from a spiritual perspective you have all of the tools and the resources at your disposal to create the kind of life that you want to create for yourself you do 
You absolutely do. It's your limited human understanding that pushes you to participate in this hamster wheel rat race where everybody thinks that the only way you can be satisfied is to be driving a Benz. The only way you can be satisfied is to, is to be able to, to have things. And that's not true. It's not true at all. You've been sold a bunch of shit. It's not true. The secret to peace and living a happy life is to is, a, is following your soul path. Doing what it is that source energy pushes you to do. Recognizing it and stepping into it instead of fighting against it because you've got this hamster mentality. Not doing it right. Prince of Pentacles in reverse, and this is why you're stuck. This is why you're stuck in the situation you're stuck in. The Hierophant in reverse. It's time to reevaluate your belief system. What it was you were raised on. How it is the, 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 the world that we live in. It's time to reevaluate your belief system. And I don't mean just what you believe about getting ketchup and mustard on a hamburger. This is your deep, deep, I hate ketchup on hamburgers. This is your deep, deep reevaluation of the things that are truly important to your life. Don't want to freak anybody out, but the times that are coming, we all need to have a reevaluation of what is important to our life. The things that we think we couldn't live without, you're going to have to reevaluate that in the near future. It's time for an overhaul of your understanding between your human journey and your spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. It's time for that. King of Swords, drop dead serious time to reevaluate the things that are important to you in your life. Seven of Cups, because options, choices, decisions, confusion, you're going to have a lot of that. You're going to have a lot of that as we push forward through this month of April. Six of Swords in reverse. Mental baggage. Mental baggage. Five of Cups in reverse. Leave behind the loss, the regret, the despair, and the disappointment. And know that all is well if you will put your focus towards your spiritual journey and not towards your flesh journey. Two of Swords in reverse at a crossroads that you don't even see. Don't even see. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. Five of Pentacles. Two of Cups in reverse. What does this say? Well, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Well, Two of Swords in reverse is at a crossroads you don't see. Okay? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, again, it goes to the lack mentality. This is about loss. Loss of the things that maybe you think are important that are not important. Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of success, a lack of reward. Why? Because you are not overcoming the flesh and stepping into the spirituality. Five of Pentacles, loss, insecurity, financial setbacks. Two of Cups in reverse, perhaps a divorce, perhaps the loss of a job, perhaps the loss of whatever. To the Nine of Wands, keep fighting the good fight. The good fight is where you need to be, Taurus. The good fight. Like I said a while ago, people who have transitioned over that come to me in the tarot cards, I don't ask them to because I don't want to open that door because I know if I do, they'll never leave me alone. Maybe someday I will, but not today. <laughs> not today, not right now, okay? Fighting the good fight. The only thing that matters is your soul journey. This meat suit is disposable. Your soul was here way before your meat suit and it will be here way after your meat suit. Your soul's journey is your intuition speaking to you, calibrating that internal compass to point you towards your true north all the time, every time. The only thing that can trump your soul's journey is your mind leading you in the human journey. We are not here to participate in the human journey. We are here to propagate, grow, and expand our soul knowledge. 
We are not here to buy and sell and trade and worry about stock prices and the price of gas and the price of food and getting and grubbing and wanting the biggest and the best and the most awesome of everything that we can possibly afford. That is not the point. <laughs> the point is to grow your soul. That is the point, Taurus. Grow your soul. Nine of Wands. Fight the good fight. Four of Pentacles. And you will be safe. You will be safe. You will be secure. Fight the good fight. Nine of Pentacles. Stand in your power. Bring your worries and your fears to a culmination and stand in your power. What is your power? Well, if you understand your soul's journey, that's your power. It's all your power. It's all your power to judgment. Make a conscious cognitive decision to be reborn, to be reborn as a new creature in a spiritual context, in a spiritual awakening to the world card. Same, same. The world up here and the world down here. This cycle is over. This cycle needs to be over. It's up to you whether you allow it to be over by the reevaluation of some kind of belief system that needs some serious attention. The world is also going to change. It's here twice. The world is changing. The world is changing. You need to get your shit straight. You need to get your belief system straight. You need to get the things that are important to you straight. Because, yeah. Guess where it's leading you? The Ten of Pentacles. Restoring to you tenfold in your spiritual journey what it is you think you would, might lose in your human journey. Restoring to you tenfold. Security, foundation, future. You're going to be okay. There is a new opportunity that's coming towards you that you must begin to think in a new way about life in order to engage in it. To the Two of Swords. Crossroads. In your mind, crossroads crossroads, crossroads. What's the problem? Reiteration. Five of cups. Loss, regret, despair, disappointment, worrying about things that you lost when you have the most important things still sitting there. Paraffin in reverse. Reevaluate what you believe. It is the third time this card is here. Reevaluate what is important to you, Taurus, the high priestess, because your spiritual journey is is the most important thing. It is the most important thing you could ever possibly do in your life. Above and beyond family, friends, love, career, money, your soul journey is what you will answer for in the end. To the magician. Manifestation, man. If I could scream it from the rooftops, I would. I am the epitome of a manifesting mofo. <laughs> I am. It works. It's, it's the secret to everything, Taurus. It's the secret to everything. What you think inside of your mind becomes your reality. So be very careful what it is that you're thinking about because it will become your life. You have the tools. You have the tools. These are the first two lessons of the whole tarot. Magician is lesson number one. What you think about comes about. Lesson two is the high priestess. Your higher power will always lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. If you combine these two things together, you are infallible and unstoppable. You know who comes next is the empress. She is the empress because she knows these two lessons right here. She's careful what she thinks about and she manifests according to where her intuition is pushing her. Infallible, unstoppable, no matter what this world throws at us, no matter what life throws at us, if you will manifest in the direction that your intuition is telling you to go, you will not fail. You will not fail. Bottom of the deck. 
bottom of the deck, the tower, implosion. Whether you are already going through this, about to go through this, going to go through this in the future, this spread right here will get you through any tower that you go through in your life. The tower is um, always the result of your limited human understanding making significant choices for your life with zero regard to your intuition. It is. Every time a human being makes a decision in their human understanding, it will at some point absolutely implode because it's not viable. It's not part of the big picture. It's, it's little pebbles on the huge path. The tower is an implosion. What the tower is supposed to teach you, Taurus, is that what it is you've decided to build your foundation upon cannot bear the weight of what you want to build in your life. And it implodes. It crumbles. Building your life on your human understanding of the hamster rat race that we're all in is going to bite you in the ass. I don't care if you're filthy rich. It will bite you in the ass. It will. Your only true good investment is in your spiritual growth, your journey on this planet, and helping everybody else through this mess that we're in. Mm -hmm. When you understand that, the Ace of Wands, you will have a new direction. You will have new inspiration. You will be able to see, once you see the beauty of manifestation and spirituality, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. You can never go back to being the way that you used to be because it's impossible. It's, it's impossible. The Ace of Wands says there is inspired, motivated, beautiful new things in your future. Death. But you have to kill the old human understanding of things and step into a bigger understanding of things, an elevated understanding of things, a higher understanding of things. Mm -hmm. Kill the old human understanding and begin to see and, and explore and understand that there is so much more than the shit that we all grub after. So much more. So much more. And I do want to say that as the world progresses over this month, this month is the beginning of things and things are just going to unravel as we go because it has to be. We are entering into the age of Aquarius. All of the existing systems that are unproductive for human welfare are going to crumble. And there will be a rising of new systems, a rising of, of a new way of being, good, bad, or indifferent. It is. It's going to crumble and it's going to rise again. Like the phoenix from the ashes. Your job is to come to terms with your human understanding, your limited small human understanding of things, and step into the greater good of the spiritual understanding of things. That is what's going to keep you safe. That is what is going to keep you in a state of well-being. An end to the old, a beginning to the new. Justice in reverse. An end to the injustice. What's the injustice? Well, injustice is a lack of accountability for your journey. The injustice is you staying in a flesh mentality. That's the injustice. And you will, you, you, you will, you will experience injustice. When you stand in an understanding of death, when you stand in an understanding that there is so much more on the other side of this silliness that we all participate in. That's, that's death of the flesh and birth into the spirituality. To the three of swords, the injustice in your life is perpetuating grief and sorrow and pain in your mind over and over and over again, worrying and worrying and worrying. When if you are standing with these guys over here, 
when you're standing with these guys, there is no worry. There is, there is, you, you follow your intuition. It will lead you and point you every single time to where you need to go. And then you set your mind to it and you manifest what it's telling you to do. God's honest truth. I hope this helps someone somehow, some way. Um, if you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. Namaste.